Biology. So let's now look at the next part of the dummies. So we have uh, the sebaceous gland or the sebaceous gland, how some other people call it. So for the sebaceous gland, we see that, as you can see, they are attached to the hair follicle. So these are glands which are attached to the hair follicle and keep the hair follicle moistened as it passes through the skin. So one function of the sebaceous gland is that they secrete sebum which mainly keeps the hair of the epidermis flexible and waterproof. So the reason why it's there is that it moistens and it also uh, keeps the hair follicle to be it keeps the hair follicle to be moist and also waterproof as well as flexible. So that's the first function of the sebaceous gland. Apart from the word sebaceous, uh, we see that the other function is that it also produces sebum, which mainly contains an antiseptic substances for protecting the skin against some bacteria and some harmful microorganisms from invading the skin. Also, apart from that, lastly, you can see that it also keeps the epidermis uh, supple and reduces the tendency for the epidermis to become dry due to dehydration. So it also keeps the epidermis to be moistened and therefore prevents the epidermis to uh, it prevents the epidermis from being dry. So like for example, the people having oily skin, they have a very healthy sebaceous gland. The people having dry skin, so the sebaceous gland needs some work in order to function appropriately. So you see that that is the other function of the sebaceous gland. So apart from that, now let's look at now the third uh, part of the skin. So remember the first part of the skin, we say that we have the, the epidermis. After the epidermis, we have the dermis. So after the dummies, we have now the subcutaneous fat layer. So this is the third part or the lowest part of the, of the skin. So after the epidermis, the dummies, so the subcutaneous fat. So for the subcutaneous fat, simply we see that this is a layer of fat found beneath the dummies and binds the skin to muscles and other organs deep inside the body. That is the subcutaneous fat. So it binds the other organs with the skin found deep inside the body and also remember it is a layer of the skin found beneath the dermis. So the first one is epidermis, then the next one is the dermis, then the third one now is now this, the subcutaneous fat. So what are the functions of the subcutaneous fat? So the subcutaneous fat, it acts as a storage for excess fat in the body. So excess fat in the body are stored in the subcutaneous fat to act as energy reserve for the future. So if someone will be will feel hungry in the future, so the body is going to break down the subcutaneous fat and then after breaking down the subcutaneous fat is going to give the organism some energy. Apart from that, it also insulates the body from heat loss. So that's the other function of the subcutaneous fat. It also insulates the body from excess heat loss. Biology.